Oppenheimer wakes up in Barbie's bed? We've got Dusty O Barbie! Ah! Yes! Why am I thinking of them as a police ship now? <laughs> bad, bad brain, going time out. How do I feel about this crack ship? Why did I just now realize I probably should have worn pink for this video? Even black would have worked. So, Barbenheimer. If you've been living under a rock and haven't heard of Barbenheimer, TLDR, it's the current cultural phenomenon that's centered around Barbie the movie and Oppenheimer the movie having the same opening day in theaters. Even just looking at both movies on a service level with like their marketing, the posters, the promos, they're two very different movies. And so people started making jokes online like, one ticket to Barbie, please, or one ticket to Oppenheimer, please, and you take a look at their vibe and be like, hmm, oh yeah, you match the movie you're seeing, or, well, you're not what I expected. What was actually amazing though is that even though these films had the same theatrical release date, there wasn't necessarily a rivalry between them. I mean, granted, there were annoying people in line being like, oh, I mean, the target audiences for both films are just so drastically different. There's no overlap. I mean, people who like Barbie have no interest in Oppenheimer and vice versa. I was so tickled seeing those types of comments because like, if you ever talked to someone who played with Barbies growing up, you know that things got pretty freaking weird. The patient has awoken. Send in the cleaner. You have broken my will to live. I did what I had to for our family. Our research and science will help Barbies everywhere. You're just upset I married your ex-husband, Patricia. You got what you deserve, Sarah. I know you know where Damien hid the drug, Sarah, and you're going to tell me. Over my dead Body. Did somebody hire an exorcist? But anyway, yeah, instead of people being like, oh, I can't wait to see Barbie or Oppenheimer, it became, oh, I can't wait to see Barbie and Oppenheimer. Double feature time, baby. The result was that both of these movies did insanely well at the box office. It's been really fun seeing people just go all out dressing up in pinks, or dark academia wear and seeing both of these films, sometimes even changing in the bathroom and doing like a, oh, seeing Barbie first and then Oppenheimer or seeing Oppenheimer and then Barbie. The Barbie movie was very internally existential. Like it made me hopeful. It made me feel inspired and made me remember all of the good times I had as a kid and reminded me that, hey, yeah, the world is not fair and it's easy to be jaded and tired and it sucks a lot of the time, but I have the potential to be who I want to be. Barbie girl. <laughs> I came home from the theater still crying and gave him a big hug. Whereas Oppenheimer made me feel externally existential. I love films where I can just take a really deep look into someone's mind, especially a figure as controversial and ambiguous as Oppenheimer. It made me think about human potential in a way very different from Barbie and in a way that quite frankly scared me. Okay, so that was Barbenheimer on paper. What about the fandom? Big surprise, surprise, Barbenheimer ended up spawning its very own fandom. It's functionally a crossover, but a very seamless one at that. There's art, there's edits, there's fake trailers, there's fanfic, there's a kick-ass movie poster. And in addition to having its own fandom microcosm, it also leaked over to other fandoms in the fandom sphere. It became a trend to draw your favorite characters or ships in Barbie core or in Oppenheimer wear, getting their tickets to the movie of their choice. With the ships, it's usually one character all in pink and one in grayscale and one's being like one ticket to Barbie please and the other's like one ticket to Oppenheimer please and sometimes it's switched like the character you think would be seeing one movie is instead seeing the other. Hell I even tweeted out a fun meet cute AU idea. If you're a fan artist or fanfic writer you're more than welcome to use it. Scratch that please use it. Listen to me real quick though as someone whose brain is so deliciously scratched every time I get a ship or just cute art that's visually contrasting and there's some cool differences going on with the colors or just general aesthetics, <gasps> I am weak for Barbenheimer. And as someone who majored in a STEM field and also loves pink and putting together cute little outfits, I feel so seen. <laughs> So I figured we could explore the Barbenheimer fandom as well as its effect on other fandoms and peruse through all of the hilarious, incredible stuff people have been cooking up. This is a big moment in pop culture history after all, and I want to preserve it for fan culture history. So come on Barbie, let's go party, build a bomb, have an existential crisis, and dive in. But what the heck, it's trending right now? Still? Hell of a boss, Barbenheimer. Oh, Millie, Moxie, you're killing it. Ah, there's an attack on Titan 1! She's everything. He's just Aries. Hmm, fitting. And yet this is also very fitting. Oh, this is so 
Oh, cute. <laughs> Disco Elysium Barbenheimer. Final Fantasy Barbenheimer. Chicken Barbenheimer? I mean, I'm not complaining. They both look delicious. We've got Spider Noir and Penny Parker both in pink. I love it. It's great because you think, oh my gosh, well, Spider Noir, of course he's gonna be like Oppenheimer themed, but no, he put in the pink effort and then Penny's the one with the trench coat. Noir in skirt, OMG, he's gonna be the prettiest girl at the party. <laughs> Aki Angel are seeing Barbie. League Barbenheimer. <gasps> He's gonna see both. He's a science boy, so he's gonna see Oppenheimer, but he also has pretty privilege, so he has to see Barbie. Take this picture and shove it in my mouth. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Although, okay, I have also seen Princess Bubblegum wanting to see Oppenheimer and then Marceline wanting to see Barbie. I mean, you would think by their color palettes that'd be switched, but no. We've got freaking Hannibal. We've got freaking Hannibal Barbenheimer. Look at those legs, the sparkle. Okay, Hanny boy, when are you gonna be in pink though? <laughs> Oh, the pop of color. He is not having it. <laughs> Love that contrast. One Piece. Oh, they're all in pink. Even the official account for Cookie Run Kingdom did a Barbenheimer meme. And it fits. It fits. <laughs> You guys don't understand. I am in the trenches of Ashwood right now, and this made my night. Jesus Christ on a pancake. What am I supposed to do with you? With both of you? <sighs> I have a weakness for La La Land poster remakes. This is. How do I feel about this crack ship? <laughs> We've got some Genshin with Kave and I'll hate them. We've got some Chiscara? Child's just very happy to have fringe. <laughs> the Star Wars one is tickling me so much. Yeah, I mean, very, very accurate. Even Puss and Boots and Death are here for the party. Yeah, no, Death needs a break from the heaviness. He deserves to see Barbie. Oh my god, there's Clone High. Yeah, no, I appreciate the different dynamics going on. Bongo was a dream. <laughs> Baku Deku Barbie. Damn, Bakugo, you look great. You're so cute with your little ascot. Oh. I love diamonds. God, I would wear this in a heart. I know what type of Barbie I am. Hot wings! If I saw Dobby in my theater for Barbie though, I would run. Oh! It's been a while since I've thought about them. I miss this ship. Look at Erwin. Look at Levi with a little beret. Where would you can find on Walmart shelves nowadays? <laughs> to be completely fair, I would buy an Oppenheimer Barbie box set if they did sell them. It's just so out there. How could you not? TXT! Oh! Even Ken's mink coat! Sorry, give me a sec. Is that Twisted Wonderland? Twisted Cinemas AO! Oh, the the outfits are switched for Baku Deku. Both work. Oh, more Attack on Titan Barbenheimer. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty accurate. <laughs> Studio <laughs> Ghibli. This is clean. <laughs> same, dude. Same on the <laughs> Got a Barbenheimer mood board. This legit looks like it could be from the same. Sometimes it is so funny seeing how certain shots in each movie could work if you edit them slightly, like the desert parts of Barbie Land, the Trinity Test site in New Mexico. Barbie Hammer button Lego. What? Okay, copy that. Okay, this kid is only 14, but does the most amazing Lego animations and actually animated the Lego scenes in Across the Spider-Verse. He's going places, and he did Barbieheimer! F yeah. There's more Lego. There's more Lego. This is the best. Hi, Barbie! This is true. This is totally true. So if you didn't know, The Dark Knight and Mamma Mia premiered on the same day 15 years ago and The Dark Knight was directed by Christopher Nolan and Mamma Mia is a blonde having a good time in a music-oriented film, so... <laughs> Duality of man. Do you ever think about dying every day, Barbara? Mamma Mia night? The Dark Knight. Mamma Mia. <laughs> oh god, the f Jojo meme. 10 tickets for the Barbie movie. 10 tickets for the Oppenheimer movie. More Jojo Barbie. Yes! More muscle men in pink. Oh, it's the Honker Squad. Honkai Star Rail. I really gotta stop calling it Honkers. <laughs> oh, they did the quick change. That's their Oppenheimer outfits. And then their Barbie outfits. <laughs> oh, I love this. I love this. Damn, that's precious. Uh, 
it is uncanny how well they fit together in these edits, as well as the fact that the films are really just two sides of the same coin of existentialism. Now this is the true crossover event right here. Barbie has breached containment, evidently. <laughs> Chainsaw Man Barbenheimer, there we go. Oh. Oh, it's going down. It's going down in Barbie Town. D, my mutual. And that's how my release day went. Sounds great. Enough about me. How was yours? Explosive. This is so funny. I'd love to be a fly on the wall and hear what sort of conversations they have. Hang on, bringing out my Barbie purse for this. So like personally, where do you think your experience lies in the whole grand scale of the human condition? You're going to have to be more specific. And here we have the two ends of the human experience. Oh no, don't pull the Mitski on me. You can't combine Barbie, Oppenheimer, and Mitski. It's just too much. Too much of being human in the same space. Come on, Barbie, let's go party. Yo, those colors are phenomenal though. Sir, I do not know who you are, but I am looking respectfully. <laughs> oh, the cats are too much. We've got Desio Barbie. Oh my goodness, yes. Peak fandom cinema. Oh, don't turn Barbenheimer. Oh, Papyrus, you're rocking that crop top. <laughs> right, worth Barbenheimer. I really love it when the outfits don't match up to the movie. Like, oh, they're all in paint. They're gonna see Barbie. No, these two are seeing Oppenheimer, damn it. And they're gonna look fab when they do. Oh, we've got kind of like a breakdown of who would see what for Twisted Wonderland here. Pop quiz for your fandom and your favorite characters of choice. Who would go see Barbie? Who would go see Oppenheimer? Who would see both? And who would see neither? Because they're like, oh, well, it's too hyped. So bonus, who goes all out and dresses up for them? Black Butler Barbenheimer in the year of our Lord 2023. This is a gift. Oh, of course. Yeah, CL would want to see Oppenheimer. But Bassie's a Barbie bitch all the way. But the thing is, CL would cry at the end of Barbie. He tried to hide it and wouldn't admit it, but he would. <sighs> Spider-Verse fans really did share a brain cell for this, huh? Do you ever think about dying? Yes. Get it, I think we should be friends. Yeah, same. Screw the crack ship, I want them to be besties now. How the hell did I forget that he played Scarecrow? Well, I cannot see it now. Oh, I really do have fandom overload. No, 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 no. We are not making a Gontrop out of this. No. Wait. Yeah, I'm gonna scroll away before this awakens something in me. Doctor friggin' who coming out of the woodwork for this. I want this sticker. Do I need this sticker? I'm gonna get this sticker. It's on Redbubble. I'm gonna get the sticker. Words cannot express just how badly I want this on my wall right now. We've advanced this far as a civilization for this. <laughs> this is so in character. Oh, look at Damien's hoodie. <laughs> Dick, Jason, and Cass all in pink. And then Tim in the friggin' trench coat. Thanks, Bugs. Yes! <laughs> Why is Barbie's included in this lineup? Hey, Barbenheimer, can I come to your house tonight? Sure, I don't have anything big planned. Just becoming death, the destroyer of worlds. Just stop by. Our industrial might and scientific envision all connected here. Our secret laboratory. Build it down. Build it fast. Keep everyone there until the bomb is done. Did you bring uranium? I literally go nowhere with that. Saving that as my new iPad wallpaper. Barbenheimer on the cover of Cartoon Vogue. What did I say about Spider-Verse fans sharing a brain cell for this? This is furthering the Barbie Oppenheimer besties agenda. Do you feel bonita? I do feel bonita, Barbara. <laughs> the dark mama. It was all so clear from the get-go. Oh, now they match. You know, call me a killjoy, but I really don't think Barbenheimer should enter the Congress fandom. Stop with the dust deal. Barbenheimer, I can't take much more. We're reaching a fandom singularity. I really wish Oppenheimer did build a Mojo Dojo Casa house. <laughs> All of these are freaking Barbenheimer posters? Goodness gracious. Critical Role Barbenheimer! Or Final Fantasy. <laughs> ah, why am I thinking of them as a poly ship now? <laughs> bad, bad brain, going time out. A's attorney side characters. <laughs> Okay, okay, there's been a lot of interesting crossovers with Barbenheimer so far, but why did it take crosshair to make me feel like I lost my freaking marbles? We've got Oppenheimer for Hiccup and Astrid, Barbie for Flynn and Rapunzel, and Barbenheimer for Linguini and Colette. That feels right. It feels right in my bones. More Chainsaw Man and Aki Aki, you little edged board. <laughs> <laughs> See, with Venom here, this is how you know we're on Tumblr. Simbrock just scuttles out of the void like a spider and goes, Barbenheimer! I would like to inform you all that there are currently 10 works in Margot Robbie's Barbie in Barbie 2023 slash J. Robert Oppenheimer. I am absolutely captivated by this summary. After spending years in a terrifying, dizzying limbo, Robert Oppenheimer wakes up in a place that is arguably more pink 
than he's ever seen in the rest of his life combined. He's not sure why he's been given a second chance here, but I'll take it and I'll do his best to do right by the two people who saved him to begin with. Oppenheimer's life just got a whole lot more plastic and arguably equally as fantastic. You know, I don't read fix on Wattpad, but I'm just very curious. Oppenheimer wakes up in Barbie's bed? Hang on now, that's a familiar premise. What? Barbenheimer, when opposites collide. Conversation with death, Barbie truly understands the horrors of the human race. Oh. Seeing people's OCs in their little Barbenheimer outfits is so sweet too. Everyone has that one annoying neighbor. Blasphemy, they're best friends, Cole. One Claire Barbenheimer. They would see the double feature for sure. <laughs> All hail Bibbleheimer. Praise be our Bibbly overlord. He has become death. He is the destroyer of worlds. Get trolls out of here. I don't want Barbenheimer touching the trolls fandom. <laughs> Barbenheimer, the anime apparently. Hiya, Bobby. Hi there. You wanna go for a ride? Shoot him. Jump in. I'm a doggy girl. Oh. Reached the top, Barbenheimer Pokemon battle. Barbie, no. You could do better. You can be a rock star. Awesome. <laughs> you can be a babysitter. Good to go. Or you can be a physicist who creates a nuclear weapon that reshapes the fabric of society. What? what? It's Oppenheimer Barbie. Whoa! <laughs> the father of the atomic bomb. And you know what? I think we're gonna call it there. Well, thank you very much for sticking through this video on the Barbenheimer fandom and its subsequent crossovers into other fandoms. It has certainly made quite the impact on the fandom sphere. If you have any ships, then who would be seeing Oppenheimer? Who would be seeing Barbie? Or would they just be seeing both together? Hell, which of your favorite characters would do a quick change for a double feature? How do you personally feel about the whole Barbenheimer phenomenon? Did you see either of the movies or both? What are your thoughts? And if you're feeling up for it, feel free to throw in some Barbenheimer inspired ficlets in the comments below. I'd love to read them. Thank you again so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye. <laughs>